Just on the other side of the waterway that we can see behind me here, a couple of hours drive, no more than that. You've got an insurgency going on, you've got Islamists fighting the army, uh, the army raiding villages, bombing villages, sending tanks through villages. Just yesterday I was in a village which was completely cleared by the army. Uh, the, the residents fled as the tanks came in. Uh, they were picking up uh, terrorists, they said. They arrested 72 people in this sweep across uh, the Sinai. Those terrorists, they say, and, and, and there's certainly evidence for this, are conducting uh, attacks on the army. And they've even conducted an attack on the canal itself. Just one attack so far, but obviously the fear is that there will be more of those attacks on this crucial waterway. Uh, I was talking to a senior port official yesterday uh, on the Suez Canal, who's described in some detail how these two guys managed to get close to the canal, fire a rocket propelled grenade at a uh, container ship pretty much like this one here, they hold it just above the waterline. They uh, manage to penetrate the ballast tanks of the ship. Uh, it's such a huge ship, it you know, was hardly really noticed, actually. It didn't cause that much damage, and uh, certainly there was no uh, long-term risk to the ship. But as you said, you know, what if it had been an oil tanker or a ship carrying liquid natural gas, or even a cruise liner? That's the sort of thing we're dealing with here in this situation where this uh, low level at the moment insurgency is spreading across the Sinai and uh, encroaching on the canal.